this the gold? This that's, the gold right here? That's what you sent me in New Hampshire for you. Okay. Just got done talking to Randall in PA. And uh, we're getting ready to send the Honda CB350 to uh, trade for a couple Model Ts. Got my buddy Travis here from Camel Towing. We got boats in the way. And uh, basically a whole box of parts that are going. But yeah, Travis is getting ready to uh, truck across the country. He's got a uh, enclosed trailer right there that he's delivering to uh, Vermont and he's coming back empty. So I'm trying to buy a load of junk on the East Coast to have him bring back. So let's get this thing loaded up and get Travis on his way. Just like that, we're loaded up. Travis is headed for the uh, other side of the country. So did you find a jet ski yet or no? I haven't yet. That's my, that's my nighttime job. Well, what you need is Jimmy. Yeah, I'm going to I'm, I'm tell him. Get on your super jet form. Well, say. Jimmy, he's, yeah, he, he, he finds something in Ohio. He'll have his dad go pick it up. It'll be waiting for you. Oh, uh, we want to away and up. Super jet? Haul. It's just the haul. I, I have everything to put it together or I'll buy a boat. You know what I mean? Yeah. Tire? Yeah, and I don't need it back, so may, uh, if it ends up sitting on the side of the road, just it's a lever right. You may, you may buy the. Uh... Look at that. It fits. So the keys are in it. I talked to him about the title. I'm going to get it notarized. Because I'm running right, it. so when I blow my trend, my 210,000 mile dodge. You could stop. unload it and ride in. Sweet. You could. You, you got a helmet? Some states require that, you know. Yeah, but at that point, you won't want a helmet I, on. You'll be so mad. I got, I got a hard hat. <laughs> hard hat. Yeah, two hundred ten thousand miles on a stock Dodge transmission. They tell me it doesn't last that long, but we're gonna find out. Well, take good care. Where are you going, Travis? Vermont. Huh? Vermont. Vermont. <laughs> Guys, what are you thinking? Where's he going? He's going to Vermont. Hey, God. money talks, okay? It must be a lot of money. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know what? It's worth it, Bob. How far Vermont is? <laughs> I do. He, he doesn't know, but he's going to know as oh, soon as man. he gets done. <laughs> McKay does. McKay does because he just got back last week with the same trailer. Uh, yeah. I don't envy your drive. I don't either, but it'll be fun. I just did it three times. Did you really? From PA to here, three times. Wow. Yeah, he's. It he, wasn't fun. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to get him to volunteer to do this for you, <laughs> and he said no. Yeah, because he's got to work in PA. That's a good. You drive that thing back there. You hang out. This so it's coming back loaded with Model Ts, jet skis, and whatever else whatever he can else, find. Yeah. I found a set of wheels for my little MK4 oh, Volkswagen in Pennsylvania. Nice. Yeah. Are you keeping the trailer? Or? No, no. We're bringing it back to have it. Bringing it back to the lady that owns it. Oh. I just figured if I'm driving empty, I'm going to load it oh, makes yeah, money. Sure. Well, drive safe, Travis. We're in Kentucky somewhere right on the other side of Cincinnati, Ohio. So I call the hotel because I want to catch a Cincinnati Reds game. Why not? Since I'm here. You got oversized parking, I'm pulling a trailer. Yeah, no problem, no problem, come see me. So I'm one way city streets, backing down alleyways. Like that one I backed down twice. This one over here to the right I backed down twice. Finally pulled up right in the middle of their place here. And I went inside and asked him, where do you park? He goes, yeah, that's our parking. I'm like, no way, it's uh, gonna get towed tonight. But we didn't get towed. So, uh, back on the road. Going through a mountain. Much, much, much later. Well, we made it here to Pennsylvania. I need to go to work. And here's Travis. We made it. I just seen him on the other side of the country a few days ago. He did. He did. So we got a little truck speedster here. That's a, that's a 20 foot trailer. 20 foot. 
we could probably put one of them in and then set the back end of the other one on top. Yeah, that's we're gonna have to, if anything. Getting that back end up. Right? I mean, I got floor jacks and stands okay. and all that other stuff, but and some jacks too. Then the weight too, because they gotta go all the way across the country with it, so. Yeah, I think they're too heavy, honestly. Gasoline on. Make sure it's a neutral. Hit the start switch. Start Neutral's switch. Good. Oh, it just starts up like that? No. All right, so the first ride is complete. What's on this? Let's uh, see what he thinks. It should be one up, so all the way down, and then one half a click up. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, what do you think? First ride? I mean, like, not, not in a bad way, but like to, to have that nostalgic feeling, it's, uh, it's really, really special, honestly. Well, absolutely special key off and you want to make sure you turn the gas off yeah. every time or it'll leak yeah okay old okay. honda thing no worries very cool so good trade amazing trade all right yeah it's already already running <laughs> <laughs> So here's what we got going. We got a couple of bike ramps, one Model T, two Model T. We're going to see if we can piggyback them because they're just barely too long to fit in the trailer. Will you watch the other side and make sure that I'm on the ramp good? Wow, you guys are impressive. Look how close it. I don't know if that pan crank is going to go. That is nice. We can fix that later. Nope, not hitting. Damn it. Damn wow. How did, how did we measure you, that? You need that camera. I think Ford Design needs to stack. I think, I think, I think it's just turned you, off or something. You need that camera there. So. <laughs> look, look at that. I know, that's crazy. We have now stacked these on the crank has an inch and a half of clearance. We are in the trailer to where the door will close. Keep up here recording. Keep up here recording. We're gonna show you. It just rolled over the tires so we can take these things off, these uh, ramps now. We're, uh, we're still on our winch, so actually we can go forward another inch because the front of the car here has another uh, foot probably, or the front. The wheels just kind of turn up here, so we'll throw a strap or a blanket or something in here so it doesn't hit. Pulling that windshield frame worked, huh? Well, we wouldn't have made your, it without your it. Your pocket crescent wrench was like legit. <laughs> 
So the only thing we're doing is, is the whole back of the car is resting on this back cross member, but right here, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how much we care, but. I, I don't know. I doubt we Other thing I can do is jack up the front of this beam here and I can put two by fours under the beam and the frame of the car. And that'll make it a little more secure for the drive. One week later. Travis, you come all the way back there. How does it feel to walk to again? be home? How does it feel to be home? Dude, that drive sucks. How many miles did you do? <laughs> Probably 6,000. 6,000 miles yeah, since you left. 2,700 miles there. Dude. And then down to New Hampshire, and then over to Philly, and then down to Baltimore, and then back up to Pittsburgh. Oh. That was a cool trip. You're happy to be home, ain't you? I'm happy to stand up. Did you walk. see any cool ball games? Four of them. Four, the, four ball games? Who'd saw, you see? I saw the Royals, okay. the Reds, the Phillies, and the Pirates. Nice! <laughs> you found a jet ski. I found a jet ski. Is it nice? That's about a good place, huh? Yeah, this, this will be good. We can get around. I'll move forward. Now, this trash can will move. We can uh, Your back or up skills. How, how much stuff did we end up with? <laughs> Wait, I, I'd say your mouth will drop, but you're Merlin and your mouth's not gonna <laughs> drop right now. <laughs> oh, dude, that's a that's a nice boat. Yeah. We're way nice. Oh, wow. We're packed <laughs> in there. <laughs> well, you said you were gonna bring it back loaded. It's loaded, yeah. <laughs> Holy cow, Travis. Yeah, this will work out good. Besides some it was from California. It was, it, so the guy moved out there and then... It, yeah, he drove to California and bought two super jets and a trailer okay. for like $7,500. Original owners, he says probably less than 100 hours on them. So that has a motor in it. It turnkey runs It's and ready to ride. Yeah, I started right now. Wow. <laughs> Put the key and hit the button, it starts right up. Like. Wow. Well, that'll be cool. Axel will be happy because this is going to be his race boat, right? That'll be his race boat. Yeah, yeah. yeah this will be Axel's race boat. That's Plan this afternoon. Woo! What a mess! I'll bet. Did you go look on the inside of the door or look? No, out of the I didn't. Oh my! <laughs> yeah, when I thought I was done loading, the guy kept bringing the guy kept bringing more stuff out, more stuff out, more stuff out. So how many do you think's here? Uh, I didn't find a third cowl, but besides a cowl, there's enough parts to build three complete cars. There's girl shells, radiators. I think there's doors, there's probably four sets of fenders. So was the one up in front the one that he had running, he said? The one up in front was the one that the oil plug fell out. It's a nice okay. car. Okay. And this one I don't know anything about. This, this was this was the one I wanted the rear end. This motor's supposed to run. Okay. The front end. Here's the rear end. Here's the whole part. Just box coil. Headlights. Oh my. Pieces of steering wheels that have fallen apart. Should know what that does. Do you know? That's for locking the valves. I knew that too. <laughs> so those two little ears. 
Well, yeah, it looks like it grabs so something. So those go, see. yeah, those go in and there's a little thing that goes on them. See how it goes back and forth yeah. and back and forth? That yeah. laps the valve. Those are Model T jacks. How many of those are there? Hey, it's like your tattoo. See? It says, Told it says Ford on it. Exactly. Yeah, see, these are Model T jacks. These will, these will chop a finger. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of cool. Three of them. Dang. New, new parts, old parts. You bought, you bought something? A lot of stuff. Yo. Parts. What's that? Our parts cleaner. That's cool. Dude, it is. Look at that. It's got a cork or something in it. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Dude, like, did you like read it? Did you read it? Yeah, Montgomery something? No, Maytag. Oh, Maytag multi oil for the two stroke washing machines. Oh, wow. One you gallon. Cut it all up and fold it so you got your own little. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. That's a Maytag motor oil for a Maytag washing machine. That's a very old, that's cool. The one thing Travis got was his VW wheels and his super jet. All I did was make him work hard. This the gold. This the that's, gold right here. That's what you sent me in New Hampshire for you. <clears throat> check this out. Yeah, let's check those. I didn't even open the box. I wanted you to be excited about it. <laughs> well, Rattle, rattlesnake jumps out at you. First of all. That's a 34 Ford. That's cool. So, there's a vintage Quaker State can. Oh, he gave me everything. That's so cool. Look at that. That is awesome. So, these lights right here are original brass era early T lights. Wow. Henry Ford script got the brass top the wicks everything's perfect condition we could literally put kerosene in those and light them up we got red lenses for those same thing Ford script get the door on there light got uh, a couple of lenses and a shell got a shell an original spotlight with a mirror Kilborn solder that's that's pretty cool that's cool stuff right there and the pictures very vintage. Yeah, they're real pictures. Of... Yeah, those uh, those are pretty cool. But yeah, those right there, those are worth the money. That's the money right there. There's only three of them. So we basically had dirt bike ramps that were on here. Right. And we just winched it up. Yeah, we're going to need to probably pull forward a little to get enough room to get it out of here. But that'll help. That'll tilt the trailer for us. Do you recognize it? Can you read that? Oh, Bill C. Jim Jefferson. It's Volkswagen. Oh, Square peg. Could be, huh? Like this is from your little gray car to probably 50-something Volkswagen. Yeah. I have a couple of these. 
They're gonna go under here. The bigger blocks. Yeah, this whole thing went this way. Yeah. We were totally... If it's not rubbing the tire, it'll roll off. Yeah. So that block's still rubbing the tire over there? Well, I'm sure it's worse now. No, it's out. I mean, the, the block is still in a bad way. The whole car shifted to the right. Have you ever had one of these? No. So, check this out. Some of this is backwards, but you turn it on. This is your actual pressure. This is your selected pressure. I want 35 pounds. It's 28 pounds, 30 pounds. Yeah. Push start, these are upside down. I push start and it airs up to that, shuts off, and then blink, blink, blink. You just unhook it, hook to your next tire, push start again, done. So when you're airing your tires back up out of the desert, you can, like I said, just walk away, walk away. and let it do? Walk away. Love it. Yeah, it's a very nice tool. They're expensive, but they're worth it. Hey, your uh, tire's flat over here. Well, we ready? He's got brakes. Brakes? Where are those? Sorting Model T parts. New radiator there. Lots of parts there. What I'm doing right now though is lifting this thing up. Travis he rolled this thing up on back in Pennsylvania, so I'm trying to get it out from under here. I believe this car will start to run. Break on that thing. That would help. Spiders we got, but we're gonna have to deal with them fellers. The parking brake, at least. And we'll get the driveway put back together. And okay, 
I've been going through Model T parts since about 6 o'clock this morning. It is now almost noon. I don't know, 11 o'clock. So I've been messing with this car a little bit. I got the drain plug in. I put some oil in it. Changed the battery. I've been charging on this battery because it's kind of dead anyway. This car here, I actually checked it and it turns over. So I think it'll actually run as well, but it's going to take a little more work. This one's fairly complete. Even the horn works. So the guy told me he was driving it and the drain plug fell out and then it quit. I don't know if the engine seized up or what, but it seems to turn over. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to see the coil just buzzed. I'm going to see if I can start it. So let's see if it'll turn turn over. Turn over. Ooh, it just tried to start right there. That was kind of cool. Motor turn. Okay, so it's not wanting to start. Maybe we gotta look at the ignition. Something's wrong. I'm all out of breath. Takes a lot to crank one of these over. I tried the starter earlier and I couldn't get the starter to work. Maybe I'll try the starter again. Let's see. So, I'm out of breath. Too old for this old car stuff. There it went. I don't know what that did, but. Something wrong with the ignition. Try the starter again. Sounds pretty good. I can hear it knocking. Um, oh yeah, she's knocking pretty good. So timing in it. Let's see if it'll run on the back. Oh wow, it even runs on the mag. That's cool. It's the first Model T I've ever had that runs on the mag. Yeah, it's got a pretty good little rod knock, so we're going to have to pull the pan down and uh, Usually you can tell which one it is by uh, taking a screwdriver I was not even firing when I canceled spark on this one it, uh, it hammers pretty hard so I'm thinking it's probably number So we're going to pull the oil pan, well, the inspection tray, and we're going to take the rods up on it. We'll show you how we do that. That ought to be fun. And then we'll take it for a ride. And then we'll work on Model T number two, and then Model T number three is right here, and we're going to assemble it. We have all the parts. So we'll get that put together and be driving it too. I'll have five Model Ts. That's so cool. I never dreamed I'd own five Model Ts, but here we go. Thanks for watching.